What we found is that uh, by going organically, the farmers are able to produce maybe three to five times as much as they would produce as they were producing before, and certainly uh, more than if they were using the, the fertilizer. And I think the big the big trick is that there's more organic matter in the soil, because the soils here are very low in organic matter. We've also found that during the um, dry uh, droughts and in, in the uh, periods and the dry and the rainy season, that um, the the maize, for example, that's grown under organic methods, uh, are still um, thriving. The plants are green and growing, whereas uh, just their uh, neighboring field that would be grown using fertilizer, the the crop would be wilting. Uh, and on average, uh, farmers are, are getting between three to five tons per hectare of maize. The, and the national average of maize production is about 1.2 tons per hectare. Uh, so the farmers are able to produce a lot more. We've in fact produced here at Cassisi uh, Agricultural Training Center uh, up to 10 tons per hectare uh, of maize using what we call an OPV, an open pollinated variety, which is not a hybrid. It's a variety that farmers can replant, keep their own seed and replant year after year and using organic methods. So as opposed to the message of that you, have to, that you need to use a hybrid seed and that you also need to um, use fertilizers and, and chemicals, we've shown that it's uh, it's quite possible to do as well if not better using uh, natural methods. So the organic agriculture is what, uh, another uh, maybe way of explaining it is that it's a low external input sustainable agriculture. Uh, it, it's so that uh, you don't have, the farmer doesn't need a lot of cash uh, to, to get started, a lot of capital.